Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Devine. All right, man. Make sure you click that like button and hit subscribe. Click the bell icon to make sure you get notified every time I upload. And uh, y'all see the title, man. We want to sit down and talk about the X Factor and the abilities that these guys have called zone abilities. So uh, make sure I sit back, chill, take a pee break, pause the video, get you some popcorn, because you know how I do. But all right, without further ado, man, let's get up into the video. So um, so this year in Madden 20, what they're trying to aim more towards is having players in Madden play to their real counterparts in real life. So seeing Tom Brady be more like Tom Brady, Antonio Brown be more like Antonio Brown, Aaron Donald, Patrick Peterson, you know, you name them. So there are, you know, people in Madden this year have zone abilities and you have X Factor. Uh, I don't know if it's abilities or it's players. I'm not sure. But you have X Factor superstars abilities i don't know but it's called x factor so x factor meaning that you know uh these guys are like game changers like i said a tom brady antonio brown aaron donald those types of players you know what i'm saying so um there's over a total of these zone zone these things called zone abilities it's over 140 of them in total and that's offense and defense so it is kind of like a uh offensive heavy thing or a defensive only thing it's, it's it's supposed to be a balance of some of of some degree you know what i mean so it's supposed to be like that so to give an example they have a slot machine ability which that basically does it gives you the ability to uh basically get more separation off the snap and your catches will be a lot easier as a slot receiver so somebody like cole beasley or adam thielen thielen however you say his name that slot machine ability so some slot receivers should have that ability granted that if the game gives that gives them that ability one ability that they have is called protect which somebody like a pocket qb like roethlisberger or you have somebody like aaron Rodgers, he might have that i don't know but tom brady for example he also has that pocketed pocketed protected ability so if he's in a pocket he's having significantly more time added to him so he can make the correct read or make the pass or or try to figure out what exactly he's going to do and have the time to read the field longer versus you know the set time that the pocket is going to break down so um he's going to have significantly more time with that ability on then you got somebody like aaron donald or a defensive tackle to that degree they have the fear monger ability so what that does is even if he's engaged in a block he can still apply pressure to the quarterback so i'm guessing in my own mind i'm guessing that he's taking his strength and using it to his ability to push the blocker back into the quarterback to try to make him to try to make him you know throw that ball to you know basically like i said the fear monger to give him the fear that oh damn he's gonna be coming off this block in a minute i need to get this ball off to just add pressure even if he's not coming to the quarterback by himself you see what i'm saying so that's the fear monger ability then you got some like the clutch ability that's only time and game dependent so tom brady can have all his abilities but the only way for his clutch ability to go off is if he's like down by seven he's on his own 10 and he has like a minute 30 to get up the field that's the only time his clutch uh, badge starts to pop off other than that it'll be deactivated that whole entire time until the game or the time calls for it other than that you know that's how that works so you also have the x-factor players now they will be marked because there's over 50 of them and they're and it's not like everybody has one it's only the ones that are granted that like patrick peterson uh, uh, uh tom brady uh aaron donald you got um shoot who else can we say juju smith schuster antonio brown you know those type of players so you can you know what i mean so those are the x factor players there's 50 of them in total and they say that they're going to add them uh over the course of the game over the course of the game depending on how the season goes whoever plays the way that they play they might add them they're still trying to figure it out how they're going to do it but it's over 50 of them are scattered throughout the game it's 28 on offense it's 22 on defense there are no linemen or there's no offensive linemen or special teams players that have the x-factor ability so say for example like you got somebody like uh juju smith schuster and in order for his X Factor to go off, he has to be in a zone. And once his zone goes off, or his his ability, his his zone ability, which is his ability to be in the zone, which whatever his abilities are, once he's in the zone, if he gets four rat catches that are 20 yards or more, he's gonna start getting animations where he beats the single coverage almost every time. Now I'm not sure how this is gonna be balanced out. I know what y'all are thinking based off of how I said that and how it was read. You know, I'm gonna save it to the end of the I'm gonna save it to the end of this week to give y'all my full, you know, my 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 deep analysis of this whole thing, all of all these news and details. So I'm gonna just save it, I'm gonna stockpile it, and I'll let y'all know at the end of this week how I felt about all of this. But if he's in his zone, if Juju Smith Schuster is in his zone and he gets five, four, no, not five, four, rat catches that 20 yards or more, what he's gonna do is now instead of him um 
instead of him exactly um instead of him just getting rat catches in single coverage now all of a sudden he's going to get granted an animation even if he does a rat catch in single coverage and they're going to give it to him given that he's in his zone and he's an x-factor player so that's how that goes you might have something like uh when cam newton is in his zone he has a tackle breaker ability which allows him to anytime he gets tackled he'll break like he'll always break the first tackle well not always but he'll will const he will constantly break the first tackle that gets brought upon him so Everybody knows how big Cam Newton is. This man is damn near like a tight end playing quarterback. You know what I'm saying? It's a beefy dude. So when he has that ability and he's in his zone, once once he start playing in his zone and he's an X Factor player, I'm, I'm assuming he gets a tackle breaker ability. So he's always gonna break that first tackle. Then you got somebody like Patrick Holmes with the bazooka ability. So once he's in his zone, I'm guessing he's an X Factor player also. Once he's in his zone and his X Factor starts going off, he has the ability to now bomb the ball at 80 yards, and that's max. He has the ball. He has the ability to bomb at 80 yards when he's in the zone tom brady also has this thing called because he's an x-factor player there's no question about that but once he's in his zone and he's an x-factor player he has a quick read a quick read zone so what that does is what what it does is it gives the user whoever's controlling him it gives them this uh this this visual cue of who's open and whoever's going to be whoever is open at the time their icon will be significantly bigger than the ones that you see on the field so say for example like all right you might be running cover three right and tom brady's in his zone you blazing the defense right now so you're in you're in your zone he's an x-factor player so let's just say you're running cover three all right so you're running cover three um x-factor players in his zone once the play starts let's say he's running let's say he's running slants or whatever he's running once he starts running that let's say squares wide open square is going to be open or wide open square is going to enlarge that square button is going to enlarge to tell you that he's open so that so that's the visual cue that they're going to give you say for example if he if if he was to run uh <clears throat> four four vertical you know four yeah four vertical in the uh the gun formation or whatever um gun bunch formation or whatever and he has on he has on that uh what is it called the quick read zone ability and he's an x factor say for example if he's running four verticals and l1 is wide open it's gonna be bigger than the other icons that are around him so that's what his ability is and he's an x factor player so um you know they can also be turned off now the only way you can turn them off is you have to either sack them or either you score a touchdown or whatever like say for example tom brady got all his abilities or whatever you can shut all that down unless you sack him or he scores a touchdown and then that's pretty much the end of that so they're so they don't sound too overpowering overbearing but you know like i said it's on offense and defense so these abilities and x-factor players shouldn't be too overpowering but you know like i said we gotta kind of wait until they all they kind of we kind of gotta wait until the game comes out or we start seeing more clips and gameplay and stuff like that and try to figure out how it's going to be balanced out but um like i said i'm gonna hold my thoughts until the end of this week so um they're also um they're also going to be scattered throughout the game the x factor the abilities all that other stuff of course it's going to be in it's going to be in uh, ultimate team it's going to be in franchise mode it's going to be in play now also play now you know quick mode head to head whatever uh it's going to be scattered throughout the game and then for the uh the face of franchise qb1 it's also going to be in there now most players they have about up to two i say about two abilities per player depending on who they are and uh, in the face of franchise, you get up to seven on your player. So, you know, I mean, I don't know if X Factor is going to come into play. Also, I really don't know. But um, uh, for your QB, for QB one, whatever you want to call it, superstar mode, uh, you get up to seven abilities. So, you know, do as you will with that. Also, they're going to make it to where it's only fifty. They're going to keep. They're going to cap it at fifty. They're going to keep it at fifty X Factor players. And then throughout the year, what they're going to do is they're going to take the abilities and they're going to keep taking them away, or they're going to add to them depending on how their players play. You know, because they're trying to keep it realistic to their true counterparts of the players in the NFL. So they're going to be taking away, or they're going to be adding abilities, or I think I don't know, but I'm speculating they might be switching around the X Factor players depending on how they play. So it's going to be dynamic throughout the year. They say at least five times in the year they're going to be moving them around, and uh, you know it's going to be harder to get the X Factor players in in the zone or use the X Factor ability. It's going to be easier to do it in RK mode than it is in competitive and simulation. You know what I mean? So it's not be like i said to anything too overbearing it shouldn't be but only thing we can do is hope and pray that it don't um you know like i said they're trying to keep it unique so say for example like you got roethlisberger where he has a pump fake that's supposed to fake out the defenders out there in the field and he might be the only one of out of all the quarterbacks in the nfl out of maybe like one other one can't really name them but 
he might be the only one out of two quarterbacks that can only do that ability. You know what I mean? You have somebody like Aaron Rodgers where he's throwing on the run and he's throwing off his tiptoes. He's the only one that could possibly do that. There's literally nobody else in the NFL who does that. So, um, you know, everything's going to be visual. Nothing will be hidden. You should see everything. I don't think you could probably turn it off, but I think it's only dependent on each player. I don't know. I'm just speculating, spitballing. You know, don't hold me to it. But um, like I said, everything should be um, more realistic and true to the real life counterparts of each player. So, like I said, we just got to see if it meshes. But uh, other than that, man, like like I said, link is in the description down below if you wanted to see uh, the article and read up on it yourself. Um, I figured I'd just give y'all a deep dive or a deep analysis of what these abilities were, what the X Factor players were. Hopefully, I'll enjoy the examples also. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, spread the word, share the links, man, because y'all know how I do. If y'all made it this far, man, that's why y'all fam. So uh, I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy, Jay Devon, and I'm signing out. Peace.